so in this tutorial we are going to see some more problems on formulating the linear programming problem let's see this program or the problem a person wants to decide the constituents of a diet which will fulfill his daily requirement of proteins fat and carbohydrates at the minimum cost the choice is to be made for four different types of foods the yield per unit of these foods are given in the table and formulate this linear programming model so as you can see in the table many of them they will directly uh, write like uh, the three products are protein fat and carbohydrates and they will like uh, they will write like this like uh, 3x1 plus 2x2 plus 6x3 less than or equal to 45 like that they will get confused and they will write since the values are given in the RHS they will they consider this as the RHS and they will consider this as the objective function like z is equal to 800 200 and 700 but when you see this problem carefully here the term minimum requirement is given whenever they have given the minimum requirement or the maximum requirement it should be come in the right hand side if the problem is given with a minimum requirement then the problem is said to be a minimization problem if they have given maximum availability or the maximum requirement then the problem is said to be a maximization problem so here the given problem is minimum requirement so the problem is minimization problem and the constraint is given like this okay so now what you can see is this will be the profit or the cost per unit so whenever you see the cost per unit or the profit you can consider that as the objective function so we can uh, reframe this objective function as uh, 45x1 plus 40x2 plus 85x3 plus 65x4 and the constraints are 3x1 plus 4x2 plus 8x3 plus 6x4 which is greater than or equal to 800 because we are dealing with a minimization problem similarly 2x1 plus 2x2 plus 7x3 plus 3x4 greater than or equal to 200 6x1 plus 4x2 plus 7x3 plus 4x4 which is greater than or equal to 700 where x1 x2 x3 x4 are strictly greater than or equal to 0 so the thing we have to see here is if you are seeing any term with a minimum requirement it should be come at the RHS of the constraint for the minimization problem if it is a maximization problem you can see like maximum requirement if you can see profit or cost per unit it should comes under the objective function so it is represented as 45x1 40x2 plus 85x3 plus 65x3 you should not confuse so many people or uh, many students they will uh, write like this like 800x1 plus 200x2 plus 700x3 as the objective function it is wrong so in this way they will interpret the question so you have to see the keywords and you have to write so let we will move on to the another type of the problem where a film produces an alloy having following specification where specific gravity is given less than or equal to 0.98 chromium it is greater than or equal to 8 percentage melting point is greater than or equal to 450 degree celsius and raw materials are a b c and etc and they have given a table so what you have to do is again this problem will be a very uh, confusing problem so many they will write like this 0.92 x1 plus 7 x2 plus 440 x3 like that because uh, the product like uh, like a b they they, th they think that the properties like a b c like that they will think but when you carefully read this the cost for various raw, raw materials per ton are 90 280 and 40 they have given so whenever you see the cost of various draws like uh, in a previous problem cost per unit so whenever you see cost per unit or profit so that comes under the objective function so a comes under the objective function 90a 280b and 40c what you can see is uh, after identifying this uh, this has the objective function we can easily frame the uh, uh, frame the constraint like uh, so 9.92 x x1 or uh, 0.97 x2 plus point uh, so that is 1.04 x3 less than or equal to 0.98 uh, so here it is like uh, 
given in the form of a b c or you can use x1 x2 x3 like i have said so for chromium it is like 7a plus 13b plus 16c greater than or equal to 8 for the melting point it is 440 degree celsius 490 degree celsius and 480 degree celsius so it is it is, it is written and the right hand side constraint is directly given 0.9 uh, 0.98 uh, less than or equal to type uh, then greater than equal to 8 then 450 which is greater than or equal to and to identify this as the maximization problem or minimization problem they have given at the last they have given the cost of the raw material should is minimum that means the problem is minimization problem so you will be getting the constraint of type greater than or equal to but the prop in the question itself they have given the constraint type you can directly put that as the constraint type for the first one less than or equal to for the second.